morning guys it is friday august the 16th and i'm being quiet because everyone is still in bed we're getting ready to head to pa pennsylvania to do some great collaborations with some other great youtubers i've got everything packed we've got food we've got drinks we've got clothes and we've got camera gear so let's get everything put in the car and head on out. So we are ahead of schedule by about a half hour, but we still have to stop at the store and pick up a special chocolate bar that a certain YouTuber likes who is from Canada, and you'll get to know that a little bit later in this video. And we'll get some breakfast and head out on the road. Well, as most of you guys know, I do live right on the border with Calais, Maine, so getting to the border is not that big of a deal. Literally, like two minutes up the road. So we are getting ready to cross into the United States where we will be for the next week or so. Let's do this. You just never know who you're gonna get when you come through the US Customs. I just happened to come across a guy who was super cool and all he really wanted to do was talk about grandma. So just because it's a grand marquee folks doesn't mean it doesn't grab attention. So anyways, we talked a little bit about that. He said, have a great trip and reminded me that if I am buying anything while I'm down there to export it before I leave. So I'm not buying anything when I go down there. Uh, no worries about that. We are just going down to have a little fun. Square body. Yeah, that happens. Uh, this, this road is about 90 miles long. It's just driving through the backwoods of Maine until we hit the interstate. So we'll touch base every once in a while. Well guys, we made it to our first pee break here in Augusta. Uh, at the service plaza, we just uh, gonna grab a snack and then we're gonna get right back on the road. Well, there you have it folks. After roughly four hours of driving, we have crossed the main New Hampshire border and uh, in order to make it to Kip's place, we will be heading north into uh, New Hampshire up to Concord and then cutting over to Rutland, Vermont. So guys, we will be catching up with you along the way. And after 600 kilometers, we are at our first fuel up stop somewhere just before the Vermont border. So we're gonna get some fuel and do a little calculation, see what kind of fuel mileage we got on this first leg. So just in case you guys are wondering, 600 kilometers divided by 1.6 gives you how many miles we went, which was 375. And if we divide that, by 16.919 gallons, which is what that took, tells us we got 22 miles to the gallon. That's pretty good for a almost 4,000 pound full-size car. Well guys, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but we have made a little pit stop. We're halfway down our trip today, and then we're gonna be hitting Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So. As you can see behind me, we got a, quite a scenic view. And there's Kip over there with Grandma. So we'll see you at our next stop. Say hi, Kip. Hey, how are you doing, everybody out there? So we're not too far from Harrisburg. Uh, about, what did it say last year? About 40 miles or something like yes, that? Something yeah, like that. So we're trying to see how far we can go on this tank of fuel. I'm doing really well in comparison to the last one. Last one I got 600 kilometers, which is 375 miles. Right now we're at 673 kilometers, which is well over 400 miles. The gas light just come on. Now I know that this is not the place to be playing distance to empty. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, give it a shot. <laughs> but if we had a tank, 
in the back? I'd say yes, but actually we uh, we do not. Um, we've got beer. Huh? Uh, we've got water. Huh? Uh, neither of which this car huh? will run on. So, anyways, we're going to take the next exit, fill her up full of gas, and see what the uh, calculation for fuel mileage was on this tank. So stay tuned. Well, we made it to the nearest Exxon, which was a few miles down the road. We've got 693 kilometers out of this tank. So let's do a quick calculation to see what the fuel economy is. 693 kilometers divided by 1.6 gives us, not that, 693 <laughs> divided by 1.6 equals 433 miles. And we'll divide that by 17.3, oops, 17.309. That's 25 miles to gallon. Nice. I think it's a keeper. Definitely. Anyways, <laughs> we got less than an hour to go to Harrisburg. We'll catch up with you there. So we're only about 20 miles outside of Harrisburg now, and uh, we made it practically the whole trip without any real bad traffic jams. And back there a few miles, we saw on a billboard that said an incident. So here we are stuck in traffic. And we witnessed a uh, transport truck get rear-ended as it was trying to avoid rear-ending somebody else, uh, probably about 10 cars behind us or so. Anyways, we're just crawling, crawling our way through the traffic. So much fun. No, it's not. Well guys, we have made it to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We are staying at the Red Roof Inn. It was one of the cheapest places, but I hear that the air conditioners work great and we're hoping that the rooms are clean. So we're gonna get Grandma on Pat. Kip and I are gonna go upstairs and see what everything is and uh, get settled in and figure out what our plans are for the next four or five days. So stay tuned. All right guys, so this is a point in the video where I get to introduce you to the fella that has put me up for the night uh, to help me save driving all this way down here and uh, I invited him to come along with me, and that is Kip from America, bumper to bumper. And we're doing this trip together because we want to help grow our channel. So Kip, you are sitting at approximately how many subscribers right now? 335, I just 335. got another one uh, about 20 minutes ago. Well, there you go. Yeah. So you're sitting at 335, I'm at 1525 or six. So we're both trying to get our channels to grow and uh, part of that is coming down here to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania to visit the likes of Send It Steve, Hammerdown Motorsports, uh, Diablo Formula Racing, uh, Dan Gimmel from Gimme D on Cars. We're also gonna try and get Novataz in there somewhere. There's a couple of other guys that we're gonna try and meet up with and do some collaborations and you know try and get this channel, my channel and Kip's channel uh, to grow and kind of put us on the map. So. Yeah. Kip, for my viewers who might not know who you are, why don't you tell us a little bit about what your channel is. America Bumper to Bumper, I've been doing it for about two years and for the most part I go around to area car shows for where I live in Vermont and we'll do videos of everything there, um, do my best to talk to people about their cars. I'll even go through and do uh, some individual videos you know, with owners of their cars and really just go through and from well, bumper to bumper. That's basically what you know we do right now. Definitely looking to you know grow and be able to do lots more exciting things. And I cannot thank you know, Jason enough for bringing me along for in this outstanding adventure. And I'm hoping that part of just the collaboration between Kip and I is going to a help your channel grow and uh, introduce some of my subscribers to his channel and and vice versa. Absolutely. Even the small channels can help other channels. So. Uh, you know, that's part of what we do on our live stream with Straight Six Fan on Thursday evenings. Uh, kind of a shameless plug here is that we do <laughs> we do do that on Thursday evenings and we try and have a little bit of fun and invite guys in to check out each other's channels. So as we sit here in Harrisburg somewhere, we have no clue where we are. We found an empty parking lot, some place where we could stand in the sun, show off old grandma who did great on this trip, never missed a beat. And this is going to be just a short video on this Tuesday, uh, even though we're recording this on Saturday, simply because I wanted to have some content for you guys, show you the trip down here, and uh, basically let you know a little bit about the car. So you know how good on gas it was, you know how easy the trip was. We did run into a little bit of rain, a little bit of slow traffic, just about you know 15 miles outside of town. Uh, other than that, PA, your highways suck. I hope you see this video and understand that when we come to PA, 
we're very, very upset with your videos. Yeah, with your yeah, highways. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. The, the, there's nothing worse than you know these highways. I've, I've been lots of places, man. Clunk, 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 clunk. At oh. one, at one point, I said to Kip, I said, "It sounds like I've got a flat tire," and then it goes away because the road got a little bit better for about 30 feet. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, PennDOT, please do something about those highways. Anyways, <laughs> you are doing something because we ran into a lot of construction along the way, uh, split highways and rerouting and all this good stuff. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget that on Thursday evenings we do the live stream uh, between myself and Straight Six Fan. This week it'll be hosted on my channel if we can get this stupid live streaming thing figured out yet again. If not, we might just do a workaround once again. So that happens at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic Time. So wherever you guys are, you can choose your time zone from there. Also, guys, this video is being sponsored by Last Fit Automotive. They have sponsored Old Grandma here with headlights, backup lights, as well as the license plate light, and we're hoping to soon get something in for the turn signals for front and rear. If you guys want your very own LED lights for your car, you can get 10% off by going to lastfit.com right here and using promo code oldcarautoguy10. 10% off. Guys, also, this thing right here, sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil, go to www.sussexbeard.com and get your very own products to work with your own beard. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate every single one of you. I know Kip is going to love it if you go over to his channel right now yeah. and subscribe to him. And don't forget, to hit that bell notification. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you all. God bless. We'll see you again real soon.